It's okay. always lovely to have, we love having good news and success stories mm -hmm. uh, on here. We've got uh, two people who have a lot to uh, be thankful to Stephen for. Uh, it's Kirsty Collier and her mum, Becky, if you would like to uh, to come in. There they are. Wow. A, a, uh, a wonderful story. It is a wonderful story a wonderful because story. actually, uh, Kirsty would not be yeah. here if it wasn't a for wonderful you. Story. And we should, we should explain a little bit about this. Lovely to meet you both. Are you attached to each other's well, microphones yeah. here? You just we, clicked. We, 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 Let we me clip that back already. on. <laughs> this bit I can do. This we, bit I can do. <laughs> Come and have surgery. a seat. Come and have a seat. Mike surgery, yeah. You so take, nice to meet you both. Take centre stage. And we'll do a little bit of explaining here because, Mum, when when she was born, oh look, I know so <laughs> this is your hero right here because you you say he's the third wheel. If it wasn't for yeah. him, your daughter wouldn't be here. Absolutely. I mean, you know, me and her dad were obviously, you know, the main <laughs> culprits in producing. When did you notice we... there was a problem? And she was, I mean, she was a baby. Yeah, straight away. Mm. Yeah, she didn't feed properly and was grunty and very sweaty and. Just not, not right, not like a couple of the ones. And it was missed. You went to GPs, you asked people, and they kept saying, no, no, she'll be fine, she'll be fine. And eventually, of your own gut and instinct, you took her to the hospital, they did a scan, and they realised there was this problem with her heart. And that's yeah. where you come in. Although you'd flown to Australia, presumably on a to holiday. To a conference. To a conference, of <laughs> I course, never, no I never holidays. had any holidays. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and you had to turn around and come straight back. Straight away, yeah. Uh, Kirsty had something very rare. So you can forgive people from not, for not detecting what was going on. Right. It needed a highly specialised team to, to work it out. But, yeah, I, I, I'd just gone to bed in Australia, having had a, a, a nice bottle of Merlot, and the phone went, and um, my cardiology colleague called me back to Oxford and said, we, we've got a desperately sick girl. And Kirsty's problem was that she had a, her main coronary artery came off the wrong blood vessel. Right. It came off the vessel to the lungs, which has low oxygen and low pressure. So before she was five months old, Kirsty had multiple heart attacks, right. oh, and uh, they destroyed her heart. Oh, this is this is the the improvisation because you were working out what you were going to do on the on the plane on the way back. And in fact, when you when you got back, did you take away a, a third of her heart? Not not deliberately. I, I designed a new operation for her problem because from my experience in in the United States, I knew that none of the operations for this were particularly good. So I designed a new one and came back and told my hospital film crew that I wanted them to film it all. Um, and, and we did that, and, but then I couldn't get Kirsty off the heart-lung machine. Mm -hmm. her, her own heart was so badly damaged. Uh, and after two hours of resting it, um, uh, I went out to tell Becky that her baby had died. Uh, and you face the grief of, of, of the parents when you have to tell them that. And I, I detested that my whole career. Yeah. Mm. So I, I turned around and went back to theatre and did something completely outrageous. I, I chopped out a third of the circumference of Kirsty's heart oh to make her heart mm -hmm. smaller. Because life depends on physics and chemistry and biology and, and geometry is important. And, and making a heart smaller again and a better shape and repairing a mitral valve. And this got is an operation through. that they still do today at Great Ormond Street recently, that this same surgery has taken place. So for you, when you look at this man, I mean, you owe him your life. Yeah, he's amazing. Uh -huh. He really is amazing. How are you now? I'm 100% fine. I'm are completely you? fine, yeah. And do your friends believe you when you say, you know, you, you can't imagine no. what was happening no, to me they when don't, I was a baby? They don't even, half of them don't even know, really. They, mm. I don't really talk about it as much. Or when they see my scar, they're quite shocked. Yeah. And when they actually find out what happened, yeah. I think they think, oh, did you just have a hole in your heart? And I'm like, well, there's no. a, a little just, bit more than that. He didn't just do the, um, the, the operation, but kept in touch, made sure yeah. you were OK. Mm. Uh, yeah. And so what... what, what I, I want to tell you one thing that's very special. When I opened Kirsty's heart to repair it, the whole of the inside was white scar tissue. Uh, and I didn't think that that second part of the operation would ever work, but it did. Now, when we studied Kirsty about 14 years later in an MRI scanner, all the scar had disappeared. Wow. Oh, and wow. And that never happens in adults, so that told me that her own fetal stem cells could yeah. remove scar from heart muscle. So I'm now working with the Nobel Prize winner, Professor Sir Martin Evans, 
who uh, actually first isolated fetal stem cells. Wow. And Absolutely. we have a cell now that will remove scar from adult hearts. And it's, it's all down to the, the sort of clues we got from Kirsty's operation. And nobody had followed up children like Kirsty long term. Um, just because you're here and you're the expert and the boss, um, if you were to pass one piece of advice to all of us in order to keep our hearts healthy, what's the, the biggest thing? What's the key? Mm, don't smoke. Yeah. Doesn't get much simpler than that, Don't really, does it? <laughs> I, I, I forget the food and the, the, the fads. Exercise is important, but don't smoke. Okay. Thank you Thank both. You. So lovely to it see you. Really it really is. It really is. A lot of your friends are going to be watching this this morning and going, <laughs> <Wow>. What? <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs>